Chinese power, Alabama power, we are going to ban each hour. Let's get to it. All right, man. So today we're going to be addressing some rumors, some rumors that you guys may have heard. Where it's actually going to be two rumors, and then one is something that a boxer actually said himself. It's not really a rumor. So we're going to start off with Martin Bacoli. If you don't remember him, he's the one who just knocked out Jared Anderson. He's saying that he wants to fight Zayli Zane. Now, this is what Michael Benson tweeted, and this was his quote with that tweet. Martin Bacoli has welcomed a potential fight versus Zayli Zane next. I know I can stop him no matter what a fight is. In China, Saudi Arabia, the UK, or America, I'm ready to face him. I know he's a tough fighter, but I'll stop him. Believe me. Like I said, this is not a rumor. This is just something that Bacoli's saying he wants. He's saying he wants that fight, and I support this wholeheartedly. The only thing I would recommend is him not fighting in China, because if it goes to decision, I feel like they will rob him. But if he do go to China and fight Zhang, he's gonna have to go ahead and stop him, go ahead and knock him out. I honestly think he can do it. I mean, he is younger. He looks like he has more movement than what Zayli Zhang has. And if I'm being honest, if Deontay Wilder would have fought him back when Deontay Wilder was the man, Deontay Wilder would have knocked him out too. To this day. But of course, we all know that Deontay Wilder that fought Zayli Zhang is the one that was damaged. The damaged goods, Deontay Wilder. And I'm not trying to be disrespectful, but we have to start being honest. It's time for us to be honest about this. Tyson Fury damaged Deontay Wilder. He didn't end his career, but technically you can say he did. Deontay Wilder just wasn't the same. After Tyson Fury cracked him in that second fight. He didn't even knock him out in that second fight. It was a TKO stoppage, but he just battered at him so badly. He put a dent in this man's head. So Tyson Fury damaged him tremendously. And that's the main reason why Deontay Wilder lost. But I would definitely love to see a fight like that. And I got more Ember Coley stopping Zayli Zang if they were to go ahead and make that fight happen. Moving right along to the actual rumors. Fight Hub TV tweeted this. Rumors at the moment that Turkey Alashi has offered Triple G to fight Terrence Crawford in 2025. What do you think, fight fans? Now, he's not the only one who reported this. I've seen this rumor times and times again. This rumor has been picking up some traction. Listen, Triple G is not retired. Just so you people know. A lot of people thought he was retired, but he had never came out and actually said that he was retired. And I actually mentioned this a long time ago in one of my older videos, that he never actually said that he was retired. He just haven't fought since 2022, but he never came out and said that. He also had an interview on the Mighty and Tiger YouTube channel, and this is what he said. I'm not retired. I never announced my retirement. It's not my nature to announce things like that. I think to me, life is moments. And if an opportunity arises or something comes up, yes, we might see Gennady Golovkin in the ring again, Golovkin said. Now, like I said before, he haven't really announced his retirement, so technically he's still in the fight game, but do I want to see him fight Terrence Crawford? No. If he were to come back, I think that he needs to fight somebody of his caliber, somebody like an Andre Ward. Well, ain't no fucking way, boy. Why ain't no way, boy? Fight Andre Ward. Y'all two fight each other. I don't think that this should be a fight that Terrence Crawford should even entertain. Even though there's been people who saying, oh man, even right now, Triple G will crack Terrence Crawford. Okay, whatever. I think it's kind of stupid to even entertain this. I think it'll be stupid for Terrence Crawford to try to go up to 168 for that. And it'll also be stupid if Triple G is considering coming down to 154 for that. Like... Come on, bro. Nobody wants to see this. Nobody's asking for a Triple G versus Terrence Crawford. So let's hope that this rumor stays like this. Just a rumor. Moving right along. Now, I know all you guys have heard about Javante Davis versus Jose Valenzuela. This is one of them fights that's more realistic than the last fight that I mentioned. It's very realistic. I mean, given the fact that Jose Valenzuela just defeated Pitbull Cruz for his WBA Super Lightweight title, and now Jose Valenzuela is the WBA champion at 140. Listen, I think this this fight is very realistic and this is also a fight that I definitely wouldn't mind seeing. It's one of them fights that I think a motivate Tank to move up to 140. Now I know some of you guys are probably going to be like, nah man, I'd rather him stay at 135 just to fight Shakur Stevenson. But listen man, I don't know if that fight ever is going to even happen. It was one of the fights that should happen, but it seems like it's not going to happen because, I mean, you know, it don't seem like Tank wants it himself. It also don't seem like Shakur wants it. Shakur acts like he wants it, but then when it comes down to it, it don't really seem like it. But hey, I could be completely wrong. But I definitely wouldn't mind seeing Tank Davis move up to 140 and conquering 140. And I get it, he didn't really conquer 135, but 
besides Shakur Stevenson, who do you really think would mess with Tank Davis at 135? I mean, he's still the best fighter right now at 135, in my opinion. Now notice, I said that he's the best fighter. I didn't say the best boxer. So I don't want nobody coming at me. Bro, you really think that he boxed better than Shakir Stevenson? You don't know nothing about boxing. Shut up. And stop overusing that term. Everybody uses that. You don't know nothing about boxing. Whatever. But Arroyo Valenzuela, he is a great boxer. I mean, he's somebody who just beat Isaac Cruz. And a lot of you guys feel like Isaac Cruz actually beat Tank. So, I think that this would be a great fight between Tank versus Jose Valenzuela. It's a fight that I've talked about before in previous videos. But in previous videos, I was saying that he wasn't ready for Tank. That's what I was saying. But that was like over a year ago. So, from the last performance that I've seen from him, when he fought Isaac Pitbull Cruz... I think he's ready for a Tank Davis. Yes. Now, do I think he beats the Tank Davis? That's a different story. But I think he'll do the same thing that Isaac Cruz did. I think he'll give Tank Davis a run for his money. But that's it. I don't think he beat Tank. I don't even think he even outboxes Tank. I don't think he got more power than Tank. He doesn't outbox Tank. If The only thing is just that he's going to give Tank problems. That's it. But eventually, Tank will figure him out. Just like he figured everybody else out.